So uh, oftentimes with these HVAC uh, projects, initially I was going to put it on the ceiling and uh, there's interference up there. There's uh, uh, duct work and everything. So there's, it was impossible to put it on the ceiling. So it's going to have to go on the sidewall here, which is pretty close enough, right? Um, and then I just put a little debris catcher up there. Uh, just to get the dust. I I don't land. I'm going to cut some pie shaped wedges and actually grab the pieces so the large pieces don't fall. This is just for dust, mitigate some dust. And getting back to something I was talking about earlier, uh, maybe spending some time on your attic access before doing an HVAC project, uh, retrofit or or something like that is a good idea. This is solar, low voltage, so don't worry about those wires over there. Um, but this is my access, you know, it's really tough and I'm going to go ahead and climb up there with you and just show you what I spent all morning doing. Um, not even working really on cutting the hole or putting in the um, returns. I spent all morning putting down boards and screwing them down and getting them to join the joists, putting two by fours, putting up some work lights. And so this was all morning long, making some uh, uh, gangway gangway planks that can carry me through the center of the house. And way over there, that's what I was saying, the interference, you can see uh, that plenum box is way in the way. I'm gonna tie up some of these um, duct work to get a kinks out of them, but it's gonna go on that sidewall over there, the vaulted ceiling. So. Going to even put up another LED light in here farther down so I got some good lighting. Okay, so yeah, multi tools do make it better. I'm sure cordless and battery are good. So there it is. In uh, one lesson learned, the template, man, I made it to where it fit perfectly. You want to go ahead and I'm going to oversize the hole on this a little bit more because I had to make some multiple cuts to get it in there. Um, and I, I would keep a template. If you're going to be doing some HVAC, once you find a template that works, uh, keep that thing so that you can uh, do it. But you can see it's pretty tight up here. Um, kind of hung up this out of the way and uh, got her in. Okay, so there's the mighty... The mighty hole, the return hole. I uh, used the master ground, got a little spot there on the wall, dug on it. But debris catcher actually worked really well. I was real pleased. Um, no real dust, but uh, there it is. Whoo, doggy. You can see. Uh, also, use a, I had to use a the level. There is a, a little wacky cut to it, but I think the grill will cover that nicely. So. Um, Letting it cure, you know, they say 48 to 72 hours before you pressurize, although this is a return, I still gonna give it full cure. Okay, fun from the attic. You can see I got well lit. I hung some shop lights and uh, did a bunch of decking um, to create a walkway and uh, use some spare. OSB oriented strand board and then there's the location got my template uh, sized correctly this time for the cut I've got the um, register there and I did put uh, the the um, the butyl tape or yep yeah, butyl tape around the edge so there it is in the attic um, luckily I got a little height to it So I'll say that um, I have a hard time, you know, getting it level and square. So it's a little off. I don't, it, it's not super bad, but it is a little off from the wall. You know, um, it's a perfect job. You, you, I guess I, somebody probably, I should have used a square and then on my two by four braces going across to the um, uh, rafters. But uh, anyway... Yeah, that's the one thing I'd watch out if you're doing this for somebody that's, uh, you know, you if they high-end home, you got to have to make sure it's square on the underside. But you got to do it from up there. 